Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Thursday, December 10th, 2020, and the big story, and I mean big story. It, it, look, um, we're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, we just found out first time unemployment claims came in at 853,000, missing the mark by a mile. Uh, economists whoever these people are, uh, expected uh, a, a much smaller uh, number uh, at 730,000, which still would have been pretty freaking epic, but we got 853,000. This is incredible. Uh, and it's, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. I don't know another way to put this here. People are, are hurting. And Congress, you know the game here. They are stringing the American people along. Uh, it's just something so twisted going on here, and I think you understand that. Anyway, um, let's go talk about these markets a little bit here. Futures are lower across the board. Nothing major, but lower nonetheless. Cryptocurrencies remain under pressure. Gold and silver are catching a bid. The dollar, again, taking a hit. Crude oil is getting a bit higher, 10-year yield 0 0.93. So that's that's the setup here. Uh, I don't like what I'm seeing. Uh, forgetting about the market at all. I, the market is what the market is. It's going to go up, it's going to go down. And that's just the way it works. But with regard to uh, this economic disaster area, that's what we're in, an economic disaster area of truly epic proportions. You know, honestly, this goes back to what we were hearing prior to the election here, Super V recovery, recovery. you got to be kidding me. They, they had to sell the lie. They were trying to sell a lie, and people just didn't buy it. I don't know another way to put that either. I don't know. This is really getting to me a little bit. Uh, I don't know about you, but in my neighborhood here, things things are awful. People are hurting. There's homeless people all over the place. Every street corner, there's someone out there with a sign, need help. Uh, we're in a depression. Uh, I don't know. I don't know another way to put this. It's miserable, and uh, something needs to be done. I don't know what exactly, but this is going to get worse, just like I've experienced explain to you for the longest time it's going to get worse before it gets better and by design it's going to get worse i mean look at congress here going on nine months stringing the american people along we're supposedly in some kind of a crisis the worst crisis we've ever faced and it's is it just by chance that they can't seem to get their act together no it's not by chance. This is by design. If you don't see that, because I know there's a lot of people writing to me. I, Greg, you're a conspiracy theorist. Congress wants to help the people. Duh. Are you kidding me? I can't believe there are people out here that actually believe that Congress wants to help the people. Believe me, if this was Wall Street, they'd already have the money. Uh, plus a lot more. But no, no, no. This is a deliberate elimination of the middle class on an epic scale. That's all this is. Uh, the creation of a two-tier society. I've warned about this for over a decade. And it's in our freaking face. Anyway, so that's the story. Uh, a, a massive miss. Uh, jobless claims skyrocket. I don't know where to put it. Uh, and Congress still can't get their act together by design. They got to go to the Fed. They got to get the cash from the Fed. The Fed's saying, "Hold off, hold off as long as you possibly can." They got a boot on your throat. All right, we've been warned about this. That's exactly what's going on right here and right now. But stay distracted. Stay distracted. Focus on other nonsensical things, just to keep your mind twisted. That's what they're doing. It's a game, and I believe you all know that. All right, that's it. Look, um, like I said, stock futures pointing towards the lower open here. Let's see where this goes. And uh, I will see all of you later. Please share the video. I'm out of here.